Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the easiest banana oatmeal cookies. And I know it might be hard to believe, but there are just three ingredients. You don't even need eggs or sugar or milk. You just need bananas, oats, and your favorite mix-in like chocolate chips. That's it. So let me show you how to make them. To get started, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and line a baking sheet with parchment paper and then just set that off to the side. You'll need two large bananas for this recipe, or bananas that are about yay big, I consider these large, and they're best if they're fully ripe and have a few spots on them and they're just starting to soften a bit as the banana will be naturally sweeter on the inside. So peel the bananas and just break them off in chunks into a large mixing bowl. Use the back of a fork to mash the bananas and after you've mashed for a minute or two, the banana should become really soft, almost like a baby food puree, and that's the texture you're going for. Add one and a half cups of quick cooking rolled oats to the bowl and give that a stir. You can use old fashioned rolled oats in this recipe, but I prefer quick cooking oats as they're a thinner, smaller oat, which you can see here on the right when compared to old fashioned rolled oats, and that will result in a cookie that is soft and chewy rather than chunky. But of course, it's all personal preference. As you mix the mashed bananas and the oats together, the oats will start to absorb the banana and the mixture will become thick and sticky. Now, you can make cookies from just these two ingredients, but I love to add a half a cup of chocolate chips. You could also add half a cup of raisins or dried cranberries or even spices like cinnamon or nutmeg and a tiny splash of vanilla extract. Once you've got the base recipe down, it's really versatile, so feel free to tweak it to your liking. To scoop the banana oatmeal cookies, I'm using a one and a half tablespoon cookie scoop, which I'll link to below. And this just keeps all of the cookies about the same size. So I'll scoop up a portion, scrape off any excess on the side of the bowl, and add it to the baking sheet. Keep dolloping the cookie mixture onto the baking sheet and you should get about 15 cookies. After you've dolloped all of the cookie dough, you'll then need to flatten the cookies with your fingers into flat, round cookies. These cookies will not flatten on their own, so just use your fingers to press down on them. And you may notice that the mixture becomes a bit sticky on your fingers, so if that happens, just wash your hands as the dough will stick less to clean, wet fingers. Bake the cookies for about 13 to 15 minutes or until they're lightly golden on the edges. They cook really fast and before you know it, you will have some delicious cookies to enjoy. So that's it. That's how easy it is to make three ingredient banana oatmeal cookies. Let the cookies cool on the baking sheet for a couple of minutes, then you can pick them up and enjoy them while they're slightly warm. These cookies are great for a quick, healthier snack, and if you omit the chocolate chips and add raisins or other dried fruit, they're perfect as an on-the-go breakfast cookie. I mean, it is just bananas and oats after all. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your family and friends, and I will see you again in the next video.